What's going on YouTube? So the BMW 2 Series Coupe has always been a favorite amongst auto enthusiasts because it has a big engine and a small body. And that is especially true with what we have today, the 2024 BMW M2. We can't wait to show you guys everything this has to offer, take it on an extensive test drive. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now before we get into that performance test drive, we're going to start off by talking about the exterior design. Now when it comes to the M2, it actually has quite a bit of changes from the standard version of the 2 Series Coupe, and it is really quite a bit different than the outgoing generation. I'm not going to tell you guys what to think of the design that's up to you, but as you can tell, it kind of is a boxier look when it comes to this new generation. With the M2, you're setting two inches wider, so as you can see, you've got that kind of squared off design for all of the uh, kidney grills as well as the extra air inlets over here on the side. And then as we come over here to the headlights, we have a new design for the LED cluster. You have this kind of squiggle shaped daytime running light and turn signal indicator, which is a theme you'll see reflected in the rear as well. As we come around to the side, we're greeted with some really nice looking alloy wheels. We actually have a staggered setup here on the M2, so it's going to be 19 inches on the front, 20 inches in the rear. Obviously, you're also going to have Performance Tread. This is a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tire, and you're going to have beefier brakes. I love the red, or excuse me, blue brake calipers. Now, as we come up here to the mirrors, you've got that signature M design. These are going to be power folding on the M2, and the other two series as well will have the other three features. Now here at the side, you will once again see that kind of boxy shape, even here on the M2 model. As far as the overall vehicle length, that's 179 inches long. We do have blacked out window surrounds as well. You might also be noticing all these lovely noises, and that's because we're at BMW's Performance Center in Spartanburg, South Carolina. So there's a lot of really cool BMWs driving around the track. I'm sure you won't mind hearing the audio. Now, as far as the rear design is concerned for this BMW M2, we do have a very unique design. Once again, like Drew said in the front, um, if you like this or not, that's going to be up to you. I think it looks a lot better here in person than it does in uh, photos, and you do have a pretty cool overall shape to it. Now, as far as the taillights are concerned, we do have full LED taillights, including the brake light portion and the LED reverse light, M2 branding. And as we drop down to this lower area, the M2 really spices things up when it comes to the lower diffuser. We have a quad exhaust outlet and the most aggressive diffuser area that is on any 2 Series model. But let's go ahead and take a listen to the exhaust sound. Sounds pretty darn good. And as far as your safety systems are concerned, of course, that's not your main priority with an M2. And BMW is going to throw in just a handful of them as standard equipment. And additionally, you can option on adaptive cruise control and some of those more advanced safety systems. But guys, I want to show you the inside before we go out in a spin. But first, if you're new here, we're brothers and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our Car Confections family. Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars. If you're watching this video, odds are you're interested in buying a new car. But what's the best way to sell your current ride? Well, we recently discovered Whipflip. Whipflip is a service designed to make selling your vehicle as easy as possible. Just put in some basic information about your car and get an initial offer in less than one minute. Next, you snap some photos using their AI tool to get the real-time value of your car based on the market. And last, you accept the final offer and just select an appointment for pickup. It's so easy, we almost forgot we need to actually own the vehicle we are selling. Sorry, Mom. One of the really cool things about Whipflip is that they pick up your vehicle for free. Their car concierge comes right to your driveway with a certified check in hand, which makes the process so much safer and secure than trying to sell on your own with Facebook Marketplace. If you want to sell your car as easily as ordering a pizza on your smartphone, 
make sure to check out Whip Flip at the link below in the video description. Now let's go ahead and move on to the interior. First, of course, we'll take a look at the key fob. This is kind of your typical BMW key fob. It's not the newest design, but you do have intelligent entry to get inside the vehicle. This has the new flip-up style door handle, so you reach behind it, that's where the sensor is, and then just pull up to unlock the door. Now, take a look inside the interior. As you can see, we do have uh, a combination of the latest BMW design language with the 2 Series design language. And we'll first start off by talking about our seats because we do have the M2 after all, so that means we're gonna have the performance bucket seats. As you can see, we've got a really unique and cool design with the M color. So we have both red and blue accents throughout the seat itself. It is going to be an aggressive bucket, like I was mentioning, and this is finished in Bernasca leather. Now, as far as your adjustments, you have a ton of them. We do also have adjustable bolsters and a manual thigh extension. But let's go ahead and climb inside. Now that we've climbed inside, let's take a look around the rest of the interior. We'll start off with our very long door trim. Let's see if Mason can get a good view of it. We do have this uh, texture kind of inside of the plastic through here. You have a leather in the center section, and then you've got this uh, interesting trim piece with the M colors, some leather on that part. As we go to the upper dash, soft touch plastic. We have genuine carbon fiber though for the M2, and that same trim will continue across the entire center part of the console area. But let's go ahead and fire it up. Now, of course, as soon as you start it up, you hear that growl from the engine and you're greeted with our gauge cluster. So one of the things that BMW has been doing on a lot of their models is kind of making dedicated graphics, depending on the level of performance, to match with everything else. Since this is an M model, we have the little M logo there and the M fonts running throughout with these aggressive looking gauges on the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. Additionally, we have a nice and large head up display at the top. Now, as we pull back to the steering wheel, nice custom steering wheel, you are gonna have the additional carbon fiber for M2 duty as well as your special M buttons for your customizable drive modes, as well as your carbon fiber paddle shifters. The wheel itself is manual tilt and telescoping. Now this isn't a focus of this model, but let's check interior storage. I have to say I'm actually pretty impressed because you have a good amount of storage in this center console. This is a relatively small performance coupe, and we still have that center console space as well as all this space, this is actually exactly the same as in Mason and I's 3 Series in terms of that space, and there's a wireless phone charging pad in there as well. Coming back, you have your M shifter. We have uh, the automatic version, so you're just gonna bump over here to the right to go into drive. That's gonna take you into reverse. This is your traditional backup camera, and we do have front and rear parking sensors on board. Just press that P for park. You also have your buttons right here. These are gonna be critical for your driving because these will control your all, all your different drive configurations as well as your active exhaust. Now in terms of audio system, we do have an available Harman Kardon sound system. That's what we have on today's example. Let's go ahead and give it a sample. Yeah, honestly, overall, this is a great sounding sound system. You might not want to listen to it all that much because you are driving sportily and listening to the engine, but if you do, you've got a good sound system behind you. All right, let's talk quickly about what's going on up here. This is your typical BMW affair, 14.9 inch display. This is going to have your climate controls built into the bottom panel, so you could just make those adjustments right there as you see. Click climate menu for additional functions, including your three-stage heated seats that this model does have. In terms of the rest of the system, again, it is gonna be styled for M2 duty with some different graphics on board. And you do have wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, and built-in navigation. Up top, auto dimming mirror, three Homelink Universal remotes. I am happy to report that we do actually still have a sunroof. Even on a performance model like this, we can pull back this power sunshade, and we can actually crack open this pretty large sunroof. 
Now the M2 actually does have rear seats. So if you're trying to sell your significant other on letting you have an M2, you can show them this part of the video. Now, let's go ahead and get back there. So when we get back here, it's pretty easy. You just lift that tab forward. The seat's gonna actually automatically slide out of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and let Drew take a look at the rear seat before I hop back in there, um, just so you can see how nice it is. Um, it's actually not nearly as bad as you would think. I honestly thought this would be a horrible rear seat, but sitting back here, I'm five foot nine for reference. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and slide to this seat so we can leave that other one uh, done. This seat is adjusted to a normal uh, position. This was actually my passenger seating configuration. And I still have three inches of additional knee room. My feet can easily slide up underneath the seat. And BMW does actually provide space figures. 32 inches of rear leg room and 35 inches of head room. So five foot nine is probably the upper limit of how much um, you know, headroom space you're going to have in this M2, but overall I'm pretty darn comfortable. Additionally, adding to my level of comfort is that here in the center I actually have my own climate vents. I also have my own temperature adjustment, so we have three zone uh, climate on the BMW M2. We also have a leather padded armrest back here, and we have this little storage cubby in the middle. So overall I'm pretty darn impressed with the rear seat of this M2. And let's go ahead and check out the cargo area and see how practical it is back here. Hint, it's going to be more practical back here than you would think as well. 13.8 cubic feet of cargo capacity as a maximum in the M2. That's actually, ironically enough, more space than our BMW 330e has. Um, and as far as the seats, they do still fold 40, 20, 40 split folding. So you have the additional versatility of being able to fold the seats. So really, if you ask me, this M2 is a very practical vehicle. Well guys, we are very excited to be behind the wheel of the BMW M2. This thing is crazy and we can't wait to show you all of what it's about, including getting our sound level reading going 55 miles an hour, although you probably won't care as much about that. So let's go ahead and get the hard acceleration. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> So good. <laughs> well, this is a performance sports coupe after all, so you expect it fast, zero to 60, and you certainly get it with this M2. Wow. <laughs> As a matter of fact, zero to 60 is 3.6 seconds. Uh, yeah. Now there are some different testing and stuff, you know, between three and four seconds is where you're gonna range. That definitely felt every bit as fast as about 3.8 seconds to 60 is what I'm thinking. We've driven a lot of yeah. performance BMWs <laughs> back to back to back. And this M2, although it is, you know, one of their more affordable products, it's actually the cheapest car we've driven at BMW Test Fest so far. Uh, this thing is crazy when it comes to performance. It's just as fast as the X5M we just got out of. Right, um, if you don't keep track of that, this really puts in the upper echelon of zero to 60s. I mean, this is hardcore performance numbers, but like Mason said, you can get this for, I'm gonna air quote this, affordable price tag, but relative to the performance, yeah. it is a very affordable price tag. Yeah. It pulls so hard. Uh, 453 oh. horsepower <laughs> really does the trick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, 406 pound feet of torque. This is an enhanced three liter turbo in line six. So this is, you know, the traditional three liter turbo inline six that you know we're a huge fan of here at Car Confections. It's one of my favorite engines ever. And then they enhance it for the M2 duty to get you this lovely, lovely setup. Right, it sounds phenomenal as well. I love the sound of the this engine. And I think we should talk about the transmission as well. You've of course noticed by this point that we do have the automatic transmission. So this is an eight-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. It is an option. 
So that's one of the other things that really makes this vehicle an enthusiast dream because the standard transmission is a six-speed manual yep. transmission. And we haven't driven that. Uh, we were, you know, kind of waiting around to see which models were available. We all have to share amongst yeah. the fellow journalists, um, and this dual clutch model became available. But we're not sad about it because this dual clutch is also a fantastic transmission. I mean, it snaps off the shifts yes. so so fast, lightning it fast shifts. Now it is also worth noting that all versions of the M2 are rear wheel drive, which is a little bit of a difference between um, if you're familiar with the two series coupe lineup, the M, you can give it a little bit of gas here. <laughs> the viewers will want to see it. Um, <laughs> so if you're familiar with the two series coupe lineup, you'll know that the M240i can get all wheel drive, which is a unique advantage over something like the Supra, which it shares a lot of pieces with. Um, all versions of the M2 though are going to be rear drive for that more traditional drive experience. And while we're kind of on the boring part of our drive going through a city, we can't go too fast here. I do want to hit the fuel economy. We're sitting at 19 miles a gallon combined for both the manual and automatic versions of the M2. And I do want to talk about ride quality as well. So right now, let's go ahead and see what we have. Um, we actually have everything in comfort mode and I'm noticing that the ride quality is very, very good on this M2. This is a very rough uh, stretch of pavement. We actually just got out of the BMW XM this ride's better <laughs> than the XM, in my opinion. It feels way more comfortable to me. Now, we do have the adaptability, though, so we can go ahead and put everything in sport mode and see how that affects the M2 when it comes to the ride quality and performance. <laughs> this may be one of my favorite cars I've ever been in. <laughs> and of course, this is, you know, a small and very agile vehicle. That's the other thing that really just puts a smile on the enthusiast face because it just feels so balanced, so sharp. Oh my goodness. You put the smallest input into the steering wheel and you just get that immediate response. Grip for days. Oh my goodness. This is a blast to drive. If we knew where we were at currently, um, we would really find a great country road, but we'll settle for these curves because we're in an unfamiliar place. But you can, <laughs> all, you can just tell. Yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. Nice strong brakes. <laughs> oh, that turn in is so nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, this absolutely feels fantastic behind the wheel. <laughs> so we went ahead and switched uh, positions here. Want to make sure that we had plenty of time. Um, both of us behind the wheel. Yeah. And the, we filmed it for those of you who say, Mason <laughs> never drives. <laughs> we normally uh, switch oh, off yes, camera. A lot of times he's driving off camera. But, but you know what? That's besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I had to get behind the wheel of this because this is such a fun driving experience. And that today has got to be the slam dunk. Just the overall drive experience of this M2. I mean, stop. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, it's like incredible. So, I mean, that's easily the slam dunk. Drew, do you want to hit the air ball? Oh, uh, let's see. Goodness, I'm really clouded in terms of uh, what could be the air ball. Oh, I know what the air ball is. The air ball is going to be the exterior design. That's very controversial. We've talked to some people. There are some people that like it, but the majority of people's opinions is towards the negative side of things just the kind of squared off look of it is kind of not traditional sports coupe design yeah um but uh you know having I, spent the day with it it really starts to become easier and easier to <laughs> look past that let's just say yeah, that's for sure We had to speed up that fast to get our sound level reading. Going 55 <laughs> miles an hour. Okay. 
Okay, let's let the engine get calm down a little bit. All right, looks like that's all we're gonna get. 60.6 decibels. Um, as I mentioned, we are in South Carolina on a press event. We're currently driving on a concrete surface, so this is not, you know, I think representative yeah. of the normal um, thing, but of course, you know, sound deadening is not going to be the most important part of an M2. Yeah, that's for sure. And as always, we'll remind you guys, if you wanna check uh, sound level readings of all of the cars that we review, which is a lot, go to our website, carconfections.com slash sound level readings. You can compare all types of competitive models against each other to see what is the quietest thing out there. And the last thing that we need to talk about is the warranty, which this is going to have BMW signature warranty for your 50,000 miles for your basic and powertrain. Additionally, you do get three years of complimentary maintenance. And how much is all this going to cost? Well, not as much as you might think. The M2 is gonna start at $63,200 for 2024. That is not too much of a price increase this model year. As far as this particular tester today, we're sitting at about $68,000 as tested. Now, if you're a smart shopper, the next place you should go to is carconfections.com slash new car quotes, because on there we have a tool that will connect you with local dealers in your area to get you the best price on your new vehicle. Additionally, it's going to give you access to invoice pricing information, which is a great tool for dealer negotiation. If you'd like to take advantage of that, a link is provided in our video description. And guys, that's where we're going to leave off on this in-depth review of the 2024 BMW M2. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful in your purchasing decisions, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. By subscribing, you're joining in on this Car Confections family. We do a ton of car reviews on this channel that I'm sure you won't want to miss out on. So please do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. If you're already a part of our family, thank you so much for your continued support because you do make this all possible and we really do appreciate it. We'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.